Yeah, I've got one, Billy. Yes, sir. Um, just pray for the kids ministry in the nursing home that Annette and I have been working on. Um, we've also got a couple local pastors from Odessa helping us, and uh, everything's coming together. Launch is the 26th, is that right, Annette? 24th, Sunday the 24th, two weeks from today, at the New Haven Nursing Home in Odessa. And it starts right after Big Church, so we're going to feed a meal to the kids at noon and then the pastors are going to get there as quick as they can and we're going to have a lively sing time and they're going to have a lively bible lesson and you know bless these kids and old people the idea is to integrate kids and old people so if anybody can help with the meal please see annette because we're she's going to do it all herself unless somebody volunteers Precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day, for this wonderful church, Lord. 
celebrates 50 years, Lord, of praising you, of celebrating your gospel, of spreading your gospel. Lord, just hearing the, the good news about Jesus. Father, we're so thankful for this church and the many lives that it has touched and the many who have served. Father, we thank you for that. We, all, we pray for another 50, 100 years, as many as it takes, Lord, as many as you see fit. Father, we're also happy to hear the good news that little, little Mateo was born to Sila and Hugo. He was born Tuesday and he was healthy. Father, that is such a praise and we are so happy for them. Father, we're also thankful to hear that Craig had a good float trip. We're happy to hear that it was a good time and everybody was safe. And Father, we're also thankful that you always make a way, as, as Deborah spoke this morning. Um, running a farm with animals and, and equipment can be very tricky. Things break down. But as Deborah stated this morning, Lord, you make a way. And you make a way for her and Leon every, every day. Father, they have healthy calves. And uh, their equipment is running. And they're... Uh, they're doing the work. And so, Father, we thank you for that. And we just pray for them, Lord, that they are, we know that they are hardworking. Lord, that you just be with them and that you uh, keep them safe. Lord, this morning we thank of Brian Henning. Uh, he had a blood clot last night. And uh, he was life flighted to a hospital in Kansas City where he is now in serious condition. Lord, we know that he knows you. Please be with his wife. She is, uh, we know that she is uh, suffering right now as well with uh, just dealing with this situation. So Lord, please be with her and comfort her. Also, Lord, we pray for, for Brian to, to come out of this. Lord, we pray for this blood clot to go away and for the effect for him to not suffer any after effects. If it be your will, Lord. So, uh, we pray for that family that you would just be with them, Lord, and let them know that you're there and comfort them. Lord, we're also praying for the uh, Dugan family. <clears throat> uh, Mike Dugan passed away from cancer. And, um, his wife shortly found out afterward that she is also has the same cancer. It's a devastating disease. It's heartbreaking, Lord. We know you are the great, the great physician, and that through you anything can be done. Lord, we pray for a miracle for this woman, or that you would heal her. We also pray for her family, Lord, that you give them the strength to support her in this time. Father, we pray for, for JT and Anna. They are missionaries in, in Montana. And right now they are having housing issues. Uh, they are between housing. Lord, we pray that you would make a way for them, that you would give them direction. And Lord, that you would just guide their steps for their family and to their next, uh, to their next housing. Lord, we also pray for, for Dave and Annette and this children's ministry that they are that they are putting together. It is coming together and will soon uh, be launched in a couple of weeks at the New Haven Nursing Home. Lord, we pray for success as uh, this is all centered around you to bring children closer to you as well as the elderly. So Lord, uh, any Assistance, Lord, we know that they need help with uh, food and, and maybe even transportation and just really anything. And Father, if it, um, if it moves any of us, Lord, we just pray that, uh, that uh, we could help them out. Lord, at this time, we pray for our country. We pray for our leaders, Lord, that you would give them wisdom. 
pray, Lord, for those who are serving in our military. That are risking their lives, Lord, in the, for the cause of this country. Lord, we thank you for them, and we, we also thank you for their families that also have them sacrificed. Lord, please uh, be with those that serve us locally, our police officers, and our firefighters as well. Be with us now, Lord, as we celebrate you and your gospel. Father, please be with Merle as he delivers the message this morning. Help us all to hear your voice. Thank you so much. In our Savior Jesus' name we pray. Amen.